I am very excited to do the show with Bear Grylls. Uh, he's a nice guy, he's a big tennis fan. And when he called me up if I wanted to be on the show, I was like, okay. Ah, I got it! Oh my God. God, look. Ah. That's been half eaten by some. But actually it's pretty fresh, it's been kept so cold. There's not a lot to eat. Although you can eat the eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I believe it shows another side to the person people might know. With me, maybe they see this very focused, strong uh, tennis player who never cracks under pressure, and it's, it's all nonsense, you know, at the end of the day. We're all the same. Really? Oh, look how big that thing is. No. We all have our fears, and I'm very scared of many things, especially when it comes to doing adventurous stuff. I always see these TV shows or these people eating these crazy things. I'm like, I will never, ever, ever do it. You know why eyeballs are so good? It's for the survivor, like on a raft, there's so much fluids. Good protein, good energy. You hold that one. Well, look at your hand, look at that. <laughs> oh my God, forget the eyeball, look at this. One of the first things I noticed about Roger's right hand is he's got this big sort of like, you know, callus of thick skin. That is a proper like callus, callus isn't mm -hmm. it? But I suppose it's not surprising since the age of, you know, seven or eight, he's just been hitting that tennis ball on that tennis racket all day, every day. <laughs> okay, <laughs> one for me. <laughs> okay. Same time. Are we doing it, seriously? Come on, this is good. Chomp from so down. So just explain what's going to happen. Is it going to be like it's popping in the inside when you crack it? Yeah, like when you eat it, you probably like explode with blood and fluid. OK, I'll give it, I'll go first. OK. Listen to this. Oh, God, that's terrible. No, it's not. No, it's really bad. It's quite fresh, just maybe not too fresh. Are you swallowing it or not? <laughs> okay, go. The last thing I want to get is hurt or lost. But why do I go first? Well, I can go first, but then you got to know how to lower me. Uh, no. I'm going to just trust the rope. That sort of angle, like this. Feet up here. Okay. Maybe oh, about here. That's bad. Okay. okay. So and if I were to fall, you got me. You're not going to fall. Okay. Okay. I really hope that my tennis skills are going to actually help me a little bit, you know, with balance maybe. Thank God. Oh my God, this is all ice. I'm making sure I get through the snow and ice here in the Swiss Alps. Good. OK, it looks like there's a bit of an overhang beneath you there, but it looks like it's going to get a bit steeper. Yeah. There's a lot to go wrong. This is right in at the deep end for Roger. You know, I'm just a very normal guy who does, likes to do normal things besides playing tennis. So uh, I think that intrigues a lot of people to see the other side of the person. I'm sure it's going to be an epic experience. <laughs> 